Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Gus. Hi, everybody. Woody here. And today we're going to be reacting to a video that actually I saw originally in another channel, a channel uh, called Sam Sam the Adventure Man. Okay. It's about 100,000 subscribers. Um, he works together with another channel we've talked about before, Adventures with a Purpose. Um, and Sam was basically out for a dive. They were looking for a crab or something like that. And he's diving with a full face mask. And then he ran into an emergency. And I think there's a few things we can learn from in this emergency. I'm glad that you're here because I'm not certified on a full face mask. So everything I say is hearsay at, at this point because I'm not certified. But you are. I am. Um, so I, I, I can't wait to hear your thoughts on this. But uh, I reached out to Sam and I said, we're thinking about reacting to this video. And he was like, I can't wait to see it. Cool. To see your reaction. So, awesome. Let's see. You guys get the appropriate training. Appropriate training is what saved my life today. Hmm. It was probably the scariest moment that I've seen in a long time. <laughs> dock. We can go underneath this dock and work our way in. That should be where we'll find most of the crab. All right, guys. Those same pregnant. We use those same full face masks at the Georgia Aquarium. The same one. Oh yeah. That's cool. Guys, please make sure that you check out Sam Sam the Adventure Man and the No Mock Experience for the other part of this video. The links are in the description below. Thank you. By the way, the original video which I saw, the Sam Sam video, has been removed for some reason. I don't know if it's that he got some blowback from it or what the reasons were, but that's the video I watched. That's the video I reached out to him and said I want to react to it, and he said go ahead and do it. And now that we're reacting to it, the link is gone, or the video is gone. So, we'll see. It's cold wherever they are. Oh, yeah. What you're seeing glowing is a jellyfish's tentacles. It's called a lion's mane jellyfish. And oh my gosh, that would have stung really bad. Thank you, Sam. Hmm. Crap. Oh my God. We're in dry gloves, it looks like. Yep. So it is really cold wherever they are. at this moment I knew I screwed up this dude wasn't going down without a fight <laughs> he literally reared back his pinchers and said come at me bro <laughs> So after fighting with this crab, he told me that I could not keep it because it was a female. Really, Sam? Come on. <laughs> it sucked. Work a torch D710. Say nope. Let it go. Well, these are responsible. They're not taking the female, so that's good. It's good because I felt sorry for you. Now. Sam and I was finished crab hunting, we went back to the geodome, and he said, you know what, go ahead Jacob, look around, it's all yours. Everything was amazing and this happened. Boom. Regulator out of his mask, he switches, he tries to breathe from it, free flowing, and he bails completely. He is gone. 
Okay. I'm going to stop it here. There is something to react to. So, Do you see what happened, though? Yes. Okay. A mouthpiece came out of the full face mask. Yes. Briefly, we had one, so we can show. Briefly, it's nothing much to show. Briefly, what you do is you actually put that in, and it has it only fits in one certain way, and then it clicks, and a little red piece in the inside of it pops out, and then you tug on it a little, and when that little red piece is out, that's how you know it's insecure. If that little red piece doesn't pop out all the way, that thing will just slide in and out. So you don't you don't think he, he, he you was gotta secure? look at it? I don't know, but you gotta look at the red piece because to get it out after you're done with your dive, you have to push that little red piece in like a button, push it in to release it to pull it out. Okay, right. so that's how you check it. So what happened here is that thing popped out. We don't know if it was secured to begin with or not. Let's assume it was something malfunction. Happens a lot in gear of all kinds. Um, so it popped out. Here's what he did. Instead of trying to refit it back in, he didn't attempt to do that. He immediately took his mask off. And again, I don't, I'm not certified, so I'm not saying whether this is right or wrong, but I'm just saying what he did. He took his mask off and he grabbed the piece that goes into the mask and try to breathe from it. Yep. So if you if that piece pops out, you got to take the mask off. It's completely flooded. That just immediately you have water completely all over your face. So that was right. Take it off, grab your alternate regulator, and grab your spare mask. You always dive with a spare mask when you're diving with a full face mask. Now you're open circuit diving. Not according to some people, by the way. We got some comments about that. Well, because we criticized that guy, Brandon Jordan, who was diving with a full face mask and no alternate mask. And some people are like, you don't have to. It's not required. Okay. I mean, it's also not required to have three lights in a cave. I mean, do you see a policeman under a cave? No, saying, there's no, there's no school of police. Whatever right. required, All right. recommended procedures yeah. are carry a spare mask, especially a dry suit. Right. And you have an alternate regulator. You saw his alternate yellow he regulator. He has one, yeah. Put it in your mouth, grab your spare mask, and you're on open circuit. Yeah, so priority number one is breathe. Establish your breathing. You have an alternate regulator. Take your mask off. Who cares about the thing that popped out? Breathe. Now let's figure out the rest. Vision. Next. Clear your mask. Now I can see. Okay. Here's my mask. Here's my thing. Ah, uh, yeah. let me plug it in and then figure out if I want to get out, put my mask back. I'll figure it out at that point. Yeah. All easy to say, right? Recommended right. procedures. This is really cold water now flooding on a face that's been dry. And really cold water when it f first hits a dry face is really, really cold and you just got punched disturbing in the face. and you could go into disorientation pretty quickly. So, yeah, you know, we're saying what you should do, but we all know in a panic situation, things don't always work out that way. So let's right. continue. So he's going up. He just emerges his swimming ascent. Okay, he's blowing out all the way up. Yeah. But he's really flying. Oh, he's flying. He's gone. And... Uh, how deep was he? Do you know? They never said, but he looked like right, 50 Sam. feet or something. Second dive. Uh, well, we don't know. 30, who knows? was probably the scariest moment that I've seen in a long time. Before we go in and let them explain, so a emergency swimming ascent, which is essentially what he did, we recommend doing that from 30 feet or above mm -hmm. at a normal swim pace, not an accelerated swim pace, blowing bubbles all the way out. Why a normal swim pace? Well, you don't want to get a long over expansion injury or get bent. So you just swim up normally, blowing a little bit of air out Yeah. at a normal pace. If you're deeper than that, there's a different procedure that you would do. But anyway, let's hear what they have to say. I just wanted to clarify when you would do that. When, when you see your buddy struggling, trying to breathe with you, trying to get your rig back in your mouth. What was in your mind when you, when you did that? Yeah, so the, uh, so we, so we got to the geodome where all the fish and all the, you know, Hopefully wildlife tell hang how out, you know, a real beautiful place. And I had just, I've been leading the dive and I just got there to this open spot, you know, real good visibility. And I just went to you, I just went like this, you know, which means, you know, you lead the dive, you know, go check it out. And so that right, up, so then like, like a split second, like after that is when it popped off. So in my mind, you're, you're no, you're not looking at me. 
you know, you're, 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 you're going off and I'm supposed to be following you. So, so in my mind at that moment, I'm a solo diver, Yeah. you know? And so I'm looking, 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 uh, you know, in my, uh, in my, um, second stage, my backup second stage wasn't accessible. It was jammed and I couldn't get it to my mouth. The other, uh, you never regulator tried that goes to get into it. that socket. I just yeah, couldn't full face. Yeah. Full face. I just couldn't get lined up, you know? So I was just like, all right, I, I, I can't, I can't get a good air. I need to go up. Um, you know, so I quickly grabbed my inflator, you know, as a solo diver, I'm thinking as a solo diver, because I don't think you see me, my, I, I can't see nothing, it's deep, it's dark, I can see nothing, you know, so I just, so I hit that inflator, I'm like, alright, up we go, and so as I'm going up, I'm making sure wait, 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 to wait, 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 exhale. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so, I think he said he hit the inflator, meaning to give him buoyancy, yep. remember that the, the goal here is that we're always diving with neutral buoyancy. When you go up, air is going to expand in the BCD. So you actually never, ever want to use the inflator button to add air and make it like an elevator, we call it. Help you go up because you could end up flying. Right. What you want to do is if you're properly weighted, you would want to hold up the low pressure inflator hose to let air out because it's expanding to slow your rate of ascent. And the fact that he said he went for the alternate Maybe he realized later he should have gone for the alternate. Yeah. I didn't see him do it. On the video, the, the, you, there's no hesitation. And we can rewind it and watch it again. No, let's not. But he, but, I mean, or people watching this, they can go back yeah, and watch yeah. it again. But from what I saw, he, the thing popped out, took the mask off. He grabbed the thing that popped out, tried to put it in his mouth. He That'd wasn't be. even successful to do that because it was free flowing the whole time. Which and will. he yeah. immediately started swimming up jammed the inflator and panicked and started going up like it was immediate there was no hesitation there wasn't let me reach for my regulator none of that happened yeah at least that's what i saw yeah now a lot of people will ask because we might as well discuss it here and then we'll continue what if it just flooded a normal flood of a full face mask the regulator didn't pop out of it it's just yeah. a normal flood they're actually very very easy to clear the recommended procedure is you kind of want to hold the regulator part down to the lowest portion of your head and just purge it. And the water will just purge out. It'll start coming down and clearing. So it takes air. about five seconds. You may then do a little bit of an air blow in it and tilt your head a little bit if there's a little residual in it or another purge. But you really clear them by purging. It's relatively easy. It works yeah. pretty well. So if it floods from a little crack or maybe you didn't properly have your hood over it. You or know, somebody kicked you on the face Something like or that. Whatever. You just purge it. Yeah. Really purge it hard and it'll slowly clear. It does take about five seconds or so to clear. Yeah. All I'm right, just I'm just blown away that he can say, look, the water, cold water hit me in the face. I panicked then I went up. That's what I it seems like. I completely forgot all everything I've learned. I, we don't, I never really practice. Like most divers, by the way, this is not just on him. Most divers don't practice deploying the octopus ever. Yeah. They just throw it in and be done. Um, I, I, I mean, because that's really what happened is cold water hit his face, like you mentioned. It's salt water, too, it looks like, which some people, it bothers them in the eyes. He just panicked and went to the surface. He never attempted to look at his body, who also had a regulator, who wasn't panicking because he wasn't out of air, who could have helped. He never tried to reach for his octopus. He took the mask off, tried this thing up. Yeah. Like that was, that's what happened. But it does show you how, when you're in a stressful situation, you can practice all you want. You may not necessarily do what you think. Yep. Right. That happens a lot. And he got to the surface safely. So I don't want to over criticize him. The, the part that I don't like is that he said, inflate I hammered your BCD. My that is yeah. extremely dangerous. And I can't let that go. There's yeah. no way I'm letting Hopefully that go. Hopefully they'll share how deep they were. Yep. And rise, everything out of your lungs. Everything out of my lungs because as you rise, um, you know, the lungs and or the you know the air expands. You know, Oil's you, law, it expands yeah, 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 and your it lungs expands. Are... And I didn't want I didn't want my lungs to pop through. I'm thinking, all right, man, I got this is what I gotta do, man, I gotta live, you know, because I'm thinking I'm a solo diver. But you actually noticed me underwater and you were trying to trying to, to grab a hold of me, but I was like, Man, I'm solo, I'm going up. Yeah, I was, so, I was trying my, so, my so hardest. You, can't, to, you came up with me. A moment of, of stress, but it was a moment of I can't get my my air sources good access. I need to go up immediately with the with the air that I have in my lungs. Never so tried. as I was coming up with you, all I can think about is I got to let everything out. Yeah. So I'm because yeah, we are yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, we're going up. Yeah, we're going up, man. I was. Yeah, yeah we're going up. 
<laughs> I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, dude. Guys, it's it's a point, and, and he can verify. He's had the training. He's been diving for, what, 12 years? Oh, yeah. I've been diving for two. I have training also, and this is prime example. Get your training, Absolutely. Guys. So. I, absolutely get, get your training especially even if you're diving as a buddy I mean, use the buddy system um, but make sure you guys get solo diving training because uh, in that moment had Jacob not noticed me um, you know I was I would have been solo regardless you know because I just said need the dive and you could have been over there looking at a crab or an octopus and I'm over there oh, you know losing it you know so, so so make sure you get the solo dive training even if you even if you're gonna dive with a buddy dive with a buddy dive with do dive with a buddy but make sure you know how to save yourself Anyways, I, I like the pressure off my dry suit. Yeah, dude. So, so training, training is key. You know, a lot of people just want to go and be cowboys, but you know, I, I'm just gonna get somebody. It's gonna get somebody hurt, somebody killed. And have I, I just feel like there, there's what was the rush? Like I, when when you run out of air or whatever, you still have some time. You're not gonna die immediately. It's not a shot in the head. I mean, he made it from out of air to the surface without breathing more air. Like, he made it, whatever it was, 15 seconds, I don't know. We would have to go back and time it. But he was 20 seconds, 15 seconds that he wasn't breathing. He could have taken the mask off, like, figure it out. Oh, it's a little stuck. Like, I have 15, 20 seconds to do it. Or if they were in a body team and his body was leading, he can be behind and be like, oh, I'm out of air. Let me swim for five seconds. Dude, I'm out of air. Let, like... Those seconds count. And I talked about this when I ran out of air on that Trimix class at 180 feet. I had no air, but I could think. I'm like, this tank doesn't work. That tank doesn't work. Dog is over there. What do I do? What do I do? Let me think and bail back into the rebreather. Like, you have some time to think. You don't have to immediately let me bail out to the surface. Like, Well, that is a good point. Stop, think, and act is always the recommended procedure, but... <sighs> It's hard to do. I, I don't want to be overcritical of them. I, you know what's bothering me the most? What? Actually. And it's just prevalent in the dive community. Is, I, again, I, maybe I'm overreacting here, but when he said, well, you've been diving for 12 years, and the guy's like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yes. You see, I sense ego again. And I don't know what it is about divers. There's a lot of ego out there. Mm. Even with top instructors, frankly, there's a lot of ego. And we don't need it. I don't know. This is not like a competition sport. Diving, for me, is just an activity that I do because I enjoy the amazing underwater world. There's no competition here. Yeah. Then he calms down and he talks about get the training and so forth and, and, and so on. But um, I don't actually think he – look, the, he didn't go crazy with panic, but the inflating of the low-pressure inflator hose is where I just have a major problem of what he said. Did he go for the alternate or not? That's a tough debate. But I'm telling you what I – Gus, that in if you're in that situation – you don't know how you would react. That's the mm. message with all of these drills that we teach in scuba diving. You know, I could sit here and say, I've been diving for 40 something years and this is how I would handle it. And I'm, I absolutely may not. And you know, I may panic in any given situation. I would rather recognize that I may panic because I think then you're not overconfident where you're going to push yourself to do things that could get you killed. That's my but, reaction. But is that I just, whole approach ego is difficult. That whole approach to stop, think, and act is important. Totally. I mean, it happened to you. You had, what, yes. wasn't your airway shut down at 300 feet or something? Totally went <clears throat> and could not. Right. You and have you, to calm down. Did you down. bail to the surface and inflate just, your BCD? I just slowly, slowly, slowly would feel stop. a little baby pieces of air coming about you have to but it it's easy to you know good job woody you're you're awesome <laughs> in a moment right. i've also had i i've never had a full panic situation right so i don't know but i well i have when i lost a student remember well, we, that one we talked about that yeah, yeah that's that's not me having a problem that's me as an instructor losing a student but but what i'm saying is you just don't know how you're going to react so you got to not be overconfident. 
Diving is relatively safe, everybody. We are showing you video after video after video of problems because otherwise... That's what people want. Guess what our reaction would be? Nothing. <laughs> We'd be like, yep, that looks like a normal awesome. dive. Okay, so let's hear what they have to say about the ending. Yeah. Had I not had the proper training, uh, I could have... Uh, I could have very well died. I could have. Um, so, guys, with that being said, keep diving. It's not worth it to stop. I love each and every one of you. Get your dive training, yep. either at your local dive shop or if you come down, get it at Mermaid Springs. So, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, hug it out. Be careful. <laughs> I like the ending. Get your training, you know? Yeah. At your local dive shop. Yeah, for sure. Is this a different video you're rolling into? I uh, know they're just recovering the gear and stuff. And oh, because he he dropped like his the the crap back that he had and the camera and so he dropped everything and then they went back and got it. But anyway, yeah, I don't know the it's, depth. It's, we it's, never learned the depth. No, we never learned the depth. Anyway, it's that's the end of the video. But um, anyway, it was just an interesting approach to it. Um, that you know he had an issue and completely freaked out and bailed out. Uh, and that, I think for me, again, that's the that's the training lesson for new divers out there, that if you have a problem, just stop for a second and think, like even if it's an out of air problem, because even in out of air situations in an open water class, you learn that first is your body is there to breathe from. If you run out of air, you learn right on your first class, open water class, your first certification, you learn how to share air, right? Here's my alternate, or here's my primary. I'll breathe from my alternate. We can both breathe from one tank, right? That is number one. If that's not possible, there's a couple of other options. An emergency swimming ascent, an emergency buoyant ascent. There's a couple of options that you have, but in order to pick the best option, you have to stop and think and then make a call, right? That's the most important part. And that's the only criticism I have really is that it doesn't seem like he stopped to think it was all about full-on reaction in this moment. I'm out. And that's why we encourage those that haven't dove in six months or a year to jump back in and do a sort of a refresher class. Scuba skills update, some agencies call them, where you're practicing these emergency skills again so they I, become comfortable again, comfort through repetition, because they'll go away quickly. And if you do have a problem, then you'll be able to stop, think, and act. So don't say, well, I've been certified for many years, and then you haven't dove in a year. I would recommend jumping in a pool with an instructor and just practice a few of these basic emergency skills again. For sure. And that's all we got. That's it. Another recommendation, another reaction. Thank you so much for uh, sending this one over. And thank you to Sam, the guy on the video that lost his mask for being cool with us reacting to it. It's actually like I'm looking forward to seeing the reaction, see what I can learn from it as well. And I'm, um, I, and I'm I, glad he's OK. I'm glad he's OK. Yeah, I, I'm going to actually, though, I want to end with this serious note. This is very serious. Oh, boy. Hey, this are, is not going to be serious. Are we coming up on our how many videos have we done? I don't know. Well, you know, there's things that I want to do, right? And that you're going to do with me. You no. all know that he's going to do various things with me. Nope. Not so we're going to do a lot of stuff together. You may remember what those things are, because I will never forget. We are going to do them. Gus is in. Nope. You see how he's in? Look at him. Nope. Can't wait. Not even a little bit. I'm not going to remind him what those things are. You know that I know that you know that we're going to do these together. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. Keep waiting. Um, but thank you, everyone, uh, for waiting to... <laughs> to uh <laughs> you're with waiting till the end of this video to hear that um so please subscribe to the channel and uh, obviously like our videos i know a lot of you like it right before they start watching that's awesome that's all like, i can think about right now is you and me just you, stop you know what i mean don't stop thinking about that you can't yeah, there just gonna. forget all of that um but yeah, there's people that say, they come in and be like, I'm a simple person. I just see a new video. I click on it. I hit like immediately. I like that. I got you a suction cup. That's a You know it's for. Oh my God. Gold. That's all right. one yeah. thing. We'll see you all on the next one.